Hey everybody. So um, I just figured I'd shoot a quick intro to this video. Um, this video, I decided to do a, an activation last minute. Um, I'd been out all day in my kayak, um, shot some video earlier, came home. Um, last minute, about seven o'clock, decided to go do a late shift activation. So I threw my stuff in the truck and headed out. And this is one of those activations where it, it wasn't pretty. Um, and I want people to know that you see all these people do these activations on YouTube and everything looks like it goes great. That's not always the case. And this is how it is sometimes. Um, you'll see that in this video, you know, I, my sending is horrible. My copying is horrible. And part of that was the, the mosquitoes were thick as fog out there tonight. Now, I don't normally get bit by mosquitoes. They were everywhere. I was covered with them. So they were distracting me. I'm not saying that as an excuse. That's just the reality of the situation. The other thing is I was on a brand new key. Um, and I'd only made one contact on it prior to this activation. I just got it this afternoon. The only contact prior to this activation was WP4TZ. I worked him earlier. Um, and in fact, I told him, I'm like, you're the first contact on the key. Um, he just ordered one as well. So he wanted to know how it was. But anyway, um, so I went out to do the activation and between the mosquitoes being thick as fog and brand new key that I wasn't used to. And to be honest, there were some things about the key that... I'm not a huge fan of. Everybody loves this key, and I'm not saying I don't like the key. It's going to take some getting used to, but there are a couple things about it that made it hard for me to send on. Um, and so my sending wasn't fantastic. So between my sending not being the greatest because I was on a key I wasn't used to, coupled with being distracted by mosquitoes, my copying wasn't great. Um, but this is how it is sometimes. I can't, and our propagation was amazing tonight. My, in fact, my, my first call was DX. Um, but, you know, sometimes they just don't go according to plan. So this is what it looks like when they're not pretty, um, but this is kind of the reality of it. So I just wanted to kind of give you a lead in so you knew what you were looking at. Um, so with that being said, um, I will shut up and uh, we'll get rolling with the video. So uh, I'll see you at the end and thanks for watching. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Oakley Corner State Forest. Um, <clears throat> so I've done plenty of activations here. In fact, I did my very first CW activation exactly where I'm set up right now. Um, I did my very first activation ever at... Uh, Sugar Hill State Forest, um, but I'm using the radio that I did my very first activation on, and that is the Zygu G90. So for a long time, this was my shack radio. I have not used this in the field since about last November uh, when I got my TX500. This has been my shack radio uh, until the other day when I got my Yaesu FTDX10. So this is now back to field use, and I hadn't used it in a long time, so I figured I'd take it out and see how it did. Um, so today we're running the G90, Got a 12 amp hour battery, a little overkill. Really why we're here is I got my brand new Bamatech TP3 and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna give this puppy a run tonight and see how it does. Um, I'm running my spark plug wire end fed so you can see my coax running up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the transformer is right there and then it sort of runs up over this branch and runs down in the trees over there. Um, so. My plan is to start out on 20 and we'll see how things go. <clears throat> I'm hoping the camera angle is okay. I'm going to have you on top of actually the FX4CR box to try to get you where I need to be. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room on the table to put you on there. Um, so I'm going to try to put you here. Um, I'm probably going to have to wear the sniper's veil over my head because the mosquitoes are thick tonight. Um, but let me, uh, let me get things set up here completely and uh, we'll get rolling, get on the air and make some contacts. This will be a fairly quick one. I'm not going to stay out here very long. Um, like I said, I'm going to get eaten alive. So my plan is to get my 10. I'd like to actually get 12 just to have a couple extras just to be, just to be safe. Um, and then get out of Dodge before it gets super dark because it's, it's about time for the sun to go down. Sun, sun sets at 8.15 and it is currently 7.57. So um, we're going to lose light here pretty soon. I've got some lights with me. Uh, I've got a headlamp with me and things like that. So I may have to turn some lights on during this activation. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So let me get things set up. Let me find a clear frequency and we'll get rolling. So we'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, so I think you can see everything okay. Um, hopefully I don't knock this camera over. It's in kind of a precarious spot. Uh, but I called QRL a couple times. Looks like this frequency's clear, so let me go ahead and spot myself. So I'm 14059. Oops. 14059. Park reference says Kilo 5221, which is Oakley Corner State Forest. CW. Okay, um, so I think we're ready to roll. Um, so we'll see what happens. Like I said, this is kind of a test of the Bama key. This is night shift, so I should get a decent amount of calls. So we'll see what happens here. 
to go ahead and spot myself. Now one of the problems with this particular radio is it does not have a CW memory key here, so I've got to key all my CQs. eaten alive by the mosquitoes. Dogs are driving me nuts. Idaho. I heard an 
10 in there. I got that call right. Five call. Texas. I said a seventy two by accident. Whoa. Gotcha.
Good to get you in the log, Kevin. Oh, you faded. Colorado, yep. eight so far. Right, I need to throw a light on. It's getting dark here. So let me just turn that bad boy on, see if it helps at all. Actually, we'll, turn, we'll crank it up. help a little bit. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. We'll put it over here. Yeah, that helps. Text it, Eric. <sighs> I just told him I'll probably move to 40 soon. This key is going to take a little getting used to. I'm making some mistakes with it that I wouldn't normally make. Um, it does feel considerably different than most of my other portable keys. And the panels are kind of small, um, so it is throwing me for a loop a little bit. Caused me some issues. I'm gonna get used to it. Five seven nine. Florida. Wow, I'm making some mistakes with this key. It's weird. I might have to loosen it up a little bit. It's pretty tight. I run my keys tight, but this one might be a little tighter than I'm normally running them. So we'll see. The bugs are driving me nuts too, so I'm having a hard time concentrating. So if I worked you in this video, I apologize if it was horrible, but uh, I'm getting it alive. <laughs> So 
I've got nine. I need one more for an activation. the number. Oh, that's a case six. Man, the QSB took him out. Yep, California, yep. That one was rough, because I was hearing a B instead of a six, but that was definitely K6PD. California. I've gotten multiple Californias. Um, that's DX, LU. I'm going to have to look up what country that is. I'm not sure off the top of my head. And I apologize if I'm copying poorly tonight. Like I said, I'm getting eaten alive by the bugs. So I've had a really hard time concentrating. Um, and like I said, the key is a little weird. Um, I like it, it feels really good, but I am making some mistakes. I think once I get used to this key, it'll be awesome, but it's gonna take me a little getting used to. Going from those CW Morse paddles, which are kind of sloppy to this, is a little bit different, so. This feels more like one of the keys I'd use at home, but the paddles are so tiny, I'm having a hard time with them. Somebody's down there. I can't make out who that is.
were a little hot. It was in and out. Sorry about that. I was having a hard time pulling you out between itching and bugs flying around my head. I know that's not an excuse, but that's the truth of the matter. It's getting dark. Let's see if we can light this up just a little bit here. All right, so we will uh, we'll call CQ like one more time here on 20 meters. And if we don't get anything, we'll move to 40 and see if we can get anybody. definitely different so it's gonna take me some getting used to all right I think I'm gonna QSY to 40 okay so we'll QSY to 40 meters QSY to 40 here. So let's. Can't see the front of the radio. something fierce. Oh, I itch. <laughs> yeah, this place is beautiful, but at night, man, the mosquitoes come out and they are just absolutely brutal. So, um, I'm doing the best I can do with what I got. I don't even see them. They're flying around the light here. The one just landed on my radio right there. Evil little things. They don't normally bother me, but uh, they're thick tonight. next to me. I'm going to move down. All right, we've got a lot of interference here. Forty's really busy tonight. Let's try 45.5. This radio does not do a really good job of rejecting adjacent signals either, so um, that can be an issue. All right, so we're gonna go 45.5. Five.
got him twice. Thank you, sir. Mosquitoes all right. Thanks, Eric. one in there someplace. Holy cow. pileup going on here. This I'm having a hard time with this key. The spacing is real tight and the magnet's real light, so I'm sending air at dits and stuff. NJP. I heard a J NJP there.
What? What? time with this key. Yeah, this, this key is definitely going to take some adjusting. I'm making mistakes I would never normally make. I heard it. Did I hear an N-E in there? Gotcha, N-E-3-I. in there. Two of them in there. Yep. 
got you. T T in there. Justin, though. Sorry, I gotta go QRT. Somebody's tuning up on my frequency anyway. Okay. So I got a whole mess of QSOs in a big hurry there, and they were messy. Um, I wasn't copying that great tonight because I'm getting eaten alive. And I'm gonna turn that off because somebody's bugging me. Um, like I said, I was getting eaten absolutely alive. I'm covered in bug bites. They never bite me, and I am absolutely covered in bug bites. Um, but I mean, we've got back of my chair over here we've got a a pretty decent number of um calls in the log there um the key let's talk about the key for just a minute so i like it um i see why everybody likes this key but like i said i was having a little bit of trouble with a couple of things um it it's a, I, I didn't touch it i took it right out of the box and left it as it was um it's a little bit touchy it, it's very very light i like my keys light this one might be a little too light um and the paddles are real small and they're real close together. Um, so I was having a hard time. I'm, I was sending errant dits. I was missing things. I, would I was making mistakes on this key I would not normally make on any of my other keys. Um, I'm not going to say that it's a problem with the key as, more as, it is a pr as much as it is a problem with me getting used to the key. 
The key is amazing. It's built beautifully. It's a great size. The magnets are fantastic. It feels really good. But like I said, I'm going to have to get this thing adjusted so that it works for me. It's, it's definitely a little too touchy. Um, and it, uh, like I said, the size of these paddles is going to take some getting used to. I noticed Thomas Witherspoon mentioned that too. He said that he's used to sending on like the CW Morse paddles and whatnot that have the much, uh, the much wider, um, the much wider paddles. And, uh, it did throw me off a little bit. These little tiny paddles, I was missing them. You know, if I wasn't paying attention to where I was putting my finger and my thumb on these, it would, uh, it would throw me off. I apologize if the light is causing any issues here, but it is pitch black out here. Um, so at any rate, uh, I'm going to give the key right now. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens as I get used to it. I have the feeling I'm going to really like this key once I get it adjusted up to how I like it. Um, and, and I get a little more used to the size of the paddles and how close they are together. Um, I like my paddles a little bit further apart. Um, this is probably, I don't know, a half an inch maybe. I, I like more like five eighths. This is a little, this is a little narrow for me. Um, when I set my hand down, my hand naturally rests about that far apart. And this is real close. So that was throwing me off a little bit too. Um, so again, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, like I said, the build quality is fantastic. It feels really good, but there are a few quirks that I'm going to have to get used to, and I'm going to have to get this thing adjusted up so that it works the way I want it to. So all in all, good activation. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We got 23 in the log, including some DX, a bunch of California, which I never get. So 20 was real long tonight. So anyway, um, I appreciate everybody watching tonight. I apologize how bad my fist was, but like I said, between the uh, between the mosquitoes and the new key, um, it just was not my night. Um, good activation. Uh, radio, I, I've, I can't say enough good things about the G90 for, for what it is. People like to harp on the G90, but it really is a good radio for what it is. Um, you know, for a, for a $400, $450 HF radio, it's hard to beat. Um, so with that being said, folks, I think we'll wrap it up for this one before I get eaten completely alive. I want some blood left in my body when I get home. Uh, so with that being said, I really appreciate everybody watching this tonight. Um, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. I do intend to do a, an activation with the kit. I put a video out, out on with the, uh, the small QRP kit. Uh, I do intend on putting a, uh, a video out on that as soon as possible. I was going to do that tonight, but I didn't want to fight QRP and mosquitoes at the same time. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. 7-3.